Hey guys, this is Sean Sanders. Thank you so much for clicking back onto my channel and happy Monday. I hope that all the men in your life got doted on for Father's Day uh, and for the men on my channel. I hope you had a wonderful Father's Day um, if it applies to you. So I just wanted to click on to talk about uh, or pose a question. How do you define your beauty and I was up early this morning enjoying my coffee and the quiet of my house and I was watching a video a YouTube video from uh, Julesy and she had it on her blog and it was a response video to 4C hair chick and a 4C hair chick had posted a video uh, by uh, one of her, it was a question that was posed to her by one of her subscribers, and she wanted to do a video about her journey into beauty, and and kind of giving her, her subscriber support because I'm sure everyone has their own journey and their story about their childhood and how people viewed them as far as being beautiful, and she was just giving her subscriber some hope that yeah you know this is what happened to me and this is how i got through it and i hope that you know whatever you're feeling right now you can get through it too and julesy did a response video about you know her journey into coming to her own skin about what was beautiful and how she defined beauty and i loved both perspectives um, but I have to say that I kind of gravitated really towards uh, Julesy's um, uh, definition of how she came to her own and defined her beauty. And so the question was, you know, how do you define beauty? How is things beautiful for you in your own skin? Have you gotten there yet? And, you know, what... <laughs> And what, um, you know, how did you get there? And so for me, especially, I guess, you know, if you want to chalk it up to um, childhood, um, adolescence, and then adulthood, you know, if you think of those chapters. Um, and my childhood, I was not really, um, you know, being beautiful was not something I heard. I wasn't heard that I was pretty or cute or anything like that. Um, and I, I didn't think of it as good or bad. I just knew that I didn't fit in what people thought was beautiful. Um, and of course, I, you have to watch Julesy's video to, to see where I'm going at, but I pretty much kind of internalized that since people didn't think I was beautiful or I didn't hear it, that it didn't matter. And I grew up in my early childhood being focused on being smart. And that is where my self-esteem and, and my commodity came from, is being smart. And although I knew there were people that were beautiful and I didn't fit in, I didn't, I didn't get into that idea that that was important to me. It was important to me to be smart so moving on to you know adolescence um, I still held on to the idea of being smart was important um, and of course being a young teenager and kind of figuring that out um, that I really clutched on to that and of course in dating I didn't date very much because again uh, I didn't fit that mold I mean I had boyfriends but um, you know, it just, again, I was more focused on my brain than my looks. So fast forward to adulthood and of course, definitely, you know, you want to be accepted and you want to be attractive. And I found out many years, even though I didn't understand it, that beauty is whatever you define it for you. And I'm so sorry guys. I don't know what's going on with my mount. It's just kind of sliding back and is annoying me. So maybe I'll just hold it for now because it's really making me mad. So 
I didn't realize it because I didn't have the vocabulary for it, but I do realize it now that um, beauty is whatever you define it to be. And beauty is whatever makes you feel good about you. And I somehow or another internalized that I wasn't going to let someone defy how they thought of me more so than how I thought of myself. And everything from the color of my skin to the texture of my hair to even my body type or my body shape that I was going to feel good about me and that there were more features about me than just my 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 physical what you see and I guess maybe it also stemmed from my childhood because I was a foster child and I just didn't allow people to get to me about things that I had no control over. I figured my looks was also something I had no control over as well. And that you either liked me or you didn't like me. And in my earlier years, not so much now, but definitely in my earlier years and in my, my adolescent teenage years, it definitely came across as being conceited. Um, but that was because I wasn't gonna allow someone to put me in a box and I definitely wasn't gonna allow someone to um, make me feel bad about myself. So I internalized that very young and I, I had a really good, strong sense of self. So beauty for me was a lot more than just what I looked like. It was how I treated people, how I wanted people to see me as being kind, uh, that I was a loyal friend, that I was reliable, and I was smart. And those qualities are qualities that I felt that made me beautiful. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a girl through and through. And how I present myself, I, I put a lot of care in. but. Uh, how I my behaviors and my qualities and my character is what I felt that made me beautiful um, and I don't think until we're much older we get that maturity to know what is what is beautiful and how is beauty beauty defined and I realize society also dictates what they think whoever they are is beautiful but ultimately you have to feel good in your skin and ultimately you have to exude what you feel and that will make you that will make you attractive I mean there are a lot of physically beautiful people but they're kind of dead inside some of them and they have their own insecurities about their own beauty some people and I've met them that use their beauty and um, you know either for good or for not so good and I just always felt that my substance was far more reaching than what you saw you know face value so to speak so I think also another thing that I did when I was very young is that I looked at women that I admired and as a woman now over 40 I see that more now. I, I, there are women that I adore and love their, their presence. And I know it's because one, they have maturity. They have a wonderful, strong sense of who they are. And their beauty isn't, you know, they are physically beautiful, but they're beautiful because of who they are and their character and their kindness and loving on people and that makes them attractive and I think that you draw people to you based on how you feel about yourself and I don't think there's anything more attractive than feeling good in your skin and having that confidence about who you are and rocking whatever you got I think that's where your beauty comes out and I I never found that to be more evident than I, I always say this that the the best compliment my husband ever gave me 
and that when I'm not feeling great about myself is that it was just one of those spontaneous moments I, and we weren't even doing anything in particular but we were just having a conversation just enjoying each other's time and he just said to me he says you know you are the most beautiful when you smile what else do I need, right? <laughs> what else do I need? And I just thought that was the nicest compliment I could have ever gotten from anyone and definitely from someone who I love and who loves me. And you know, when you smile, you bring happiness. When you smile, you know, you feel good. And it, 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 it reiterated and, and, and affirmed that feeling good, feeling good about yourself, feeling good in general is what makes you beautiful. And that's for me is how I define my beauty. And, you know, looking at the, the women that are in their 60s and 70s and 80s, they feel good about themselves and they feel good about their life and they feel good about where they are in their place in life. And I only hope and continue to hope that I take that on into the the next journey of my life and that you know there are going to be norms and there's going to be uh, fads but the real beauty the beauty that never fades is the beauty that you carry inside of you and that you put out into the universe about who you are and that the people who love you and the people who want to be around you, um, they will honor that beauty because you honor yourself first. So let me know how you define beauty and you have a wonderful Monday. Take care of yourself and each other. Talk to you soon. Bye.